Are people setting it up and using it? Well, if you just want to route your web traffic through the Tor network from a browser, you can just install the Tor browser from the Tor project. You open this browser like any other browser, and click connect once your browser opens to start relaying your traffic through Tor. You can verify that your traffic is being anonymized through Tor by going to check.torproject.org, and if you see congratulations, then you're good to go. But what if you want to route all of your network traffic through the Tor network and not just web traffic? Here on my Kali Linux machine, we're going to want to have proxy chains installed. It should already be installed by default, but if it's not, you can install it by running sudo apt install proxy chains Tor. Once we have proxy chains installed, we're going to want to edit the proxy chains configuration file located at etcproxychains.com. We have the config file open here, and we're going to want to uncomment out dynamic chain and comment out strict chain if it's not already. Next, at the bottom of the configuration file, we're going to want to add the line SOX5, 127.0.0.1, which is going to set the proxy to Tor's default port. After we save that file, we're going to want to start the Tor service by typing sudo systemctl start Tor. Now, any command that we prefix with proxy chains is going to be routed through the Tor network. For example, if we wanted to start Firefox, but have all the web traffic go through Tor, we could type proxy chains Firefox. This is going to open a regular instance of Firefox, but all of our traffic is going to be routed through the Tor network. We can confirm this by going to check.torproject.org and we should see the congratulations message.